This is the All Saints Church located in the heart of Mangaluru. But ongoing metro war for phase 2 has threatened its very survival. This is not the first time that the All Saints Church is seeing a protest. Churchgoers and evangelists have been gathering here since May 2019, especially on Sundays after the metro authorities said that they will take over a vital portion of this land. But before I go into the issue, here's a quick reminder. Stories like this take time, effort and resources. We cannot do this without your support. Do become a member of the TNM community by clicking on the link in the description below. And also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. The portion of land which the BMRCL wants to acquire has many old trees. The churchgoers consider these trees to be a sacred grove. Activists want this parcel of land to be left alone so that their sacred grove is preserved and their church is safe. They want the metro to stick to the original plan as per the DPR released in 2011. As per the original plan, the metro station was supposed to come up in the Vellara Junction. Instead, it's now coming up on the premises of the church, which is considered a heritage building. The foundation stone was laid in the year 1869 by one Reverend Samuel Thomas Pettigrew. Now in the year 1870, the, uh, complete, the, the church building was completed and uh, this church was to cater for all the people of Richmond Town. Now we are celebrating the 152nd year since it was built in 1870. Churchgoers are concerned that their church may be at risk if construction begins so close to the heritage structure. They point out roofs in the tiles have fallen only in the recent times after construction began on the adjacent land. The stained glass, the last 150 years, uh, if you notice, even the, the, this one especially since it's directly, you know, it's closer towards the construction site, uh, there was not a problem there in the last 150 years. It's, it's developed these issues in the last two years. And this is uh, a, a result of the work that's happening a good 40, uh, 50 meters away from the church uh, building. Okay, uh, imagine if that comes to a distance of 17 meters. And if they have, if they're going to cut the ground to a depth of what, uh, you know, 70-80 meters, what is going to happen? The parsonage where uh, the presbyter stays has developed a lot of cracks already because of this. And that is the closest. As you see the tiles, the roof, uh, it's highly pitched, which means any shake, any vibration means it can fall. And you've already seen that the last 150 years has already fallen, quite a few have already fallen. Activists also point out that a metro station at the Vellara Junction would have benefited the public. If it was actually located there as it should be according to the DPR, then it would have served the public purpose because there are 6,000 students on the other side. All of them will start using the metro as if it's an after, not even an afterthought. If the station comes up here, Osu Road will be permanently jammed, Richmond Road will be permanently jammed because everyone coming in and out, be it a car, a rickshaw, a motorbike or whatever, is blocking the free flow of traffic. So do we want that to happen? Metro station is most appropriately located where Vellara Junction is. Activists and churchgoers have also petitioned Chief Minister Basavraj Bommai to stick to the original plan and save their church. It's not just about saving All Saints Church in that sense. So a lot of pluses to shifting it, and that is why our pitch is to the Chief Minister to make a decision, you know, take a decision which will be part of his legacy. That everyone will remember that Bommai actually is the one person who took a decision to save this church. And 150 years later, this church is 150 years old, people will look back and say, what was his choice? And I think he has to take the credit for it. Uh, here where I am standing, okay, all these trees are more than 100 years old. Okay, and uh, this is also the home for the urban wildlife. Trees are the homes for arboreal and uh, uh, birds, everything.
Despite the repeated protests and petitions, the BMRCL is refusing to look into alternatives or stick to its original plan. With no option in sight, some of the activists are considering going to court to save their trees and the church.